Ag Week weather is sponsored by Bremer Bank. Connect with a banker today at bremer.com. What does the weather have in store for us over the 4th of July weekend? Here's our AgriWeather Outlook. The weather pattern for much of the summer has delivered warm, humid weather to the south. At times, it's been very hot out west. But in the northern plains and upper Midwest, the main feature has been too much rainfall. There are some signs that that's beginning to turn just a little bit. First of all, the most dominant feature of the weather that you'll notice is the jet stream lifting, gradually bending northward as we get into August. That is going to send some searing heat up into the western part and especially the Pacific North. West, and that's also going to change the overall rainy pattern. Overall, rain will be in reduction. There will be fewer uh, opportunities for these widespread heavy showers and thunderstorms in the northern plains and upper Midwest. Not saying it's going to quit raining, but I think we'll see production of rain slowing down, except in the areas that will be impacted by tropical weather, and that's going to be the Gulf Coast areas where it looks to be very, very active. Going forth, here's what I'm talking talking about. Right now we've got the jet stream kind of as we start out this pattern uh, diving into the central part of the nation. This brings wet weather to the Midwest, but that's going to start being changed into ridging and it looks like the ridging in the Pacific Northwest will tend to linger. There still will be some systems that will come through, but overall the jet stream wind pattern is expected to turn a little bit weaker this week. So that will allow the continued hot weather across the south and in the west into the Pacific Northwest. It's going to be getting very hot. We'll continue to avoid the heat in the northern plains and for the most part in the Great Lakes region as we go through this uh, fourth of, uh, week past the 4th of July. Uh, so we're not going to see a lot of really hot weather, except in the usual places. And uh, we're going to see no real cool weather either. And as the jet stream continues to weaken, it will continue to be warm in the west. Troughing coming in in the weekend and at the beginning of the middle part of July will likely beat that heat back down in the Pacific Northwest, though there are some signs it will be building northward again. I don't look for a lot of searing heat at all into the northern plains. We'll get a few days to get up to around 90 or in the 90s in the high plains, but not a lot of widespread warm or hot weather around the Great Lakes. That will stay nominally cool. Precipitation-wise, we're going to send the heaviest of the thunderstorms east. Now, that's not to say there won't be any storms in the northern plains. I just think they'll be a little more sporadic, a little more widely scattered. Tropical regions, though, look to be quite wet. Some of this, depending on the tracks of tropical systems, tropical lows, storms, depressions, and even the potential Gulf of Mexico hurricane will keep the Gulf Coast area quite wet. However, overall, uh, rainfall across much of the corn and bean belt and the Great Plains will diminish.